Welcome to the grim darkness of the far future. Warhammer 40,000 is a tabletop battle game in which players unleash armies of miniatures in action-packed tactical gameplay. This video will get you started with the tabletop game by focusing on the conflict between a mighty space marine captain and a vicious swarm of tyrannid alien invaders. Games of Warhammer 40,000 can be any size. We're starting with a single space marine against a squad of tyrannids, but the same rules can work with hundreds of miniatures on each side. Often, winning a game will require you to hold objectives, claim important locations on the battlefield, or eliminate key enemy units. For your first battles, we're starting simple. The winner is the player that wipes out the opposing army. During the game, players take alternating turns. In each turn, every unit can move, shoot, charge and fight. We're starting with our units 12 inches away from each other, so we can demonstrate each of these phases of the game. Each unit has a data sheet. Data sheets tell you everything you need to know about your units and what they can do during the game. We'll find out what each section of the data sheet means as we play. The movement phase is where your army moves across the battlefield to get closer to opponents, take up better firing positions, or claim crucial objectives. Each unit has a movement characteristic that you can see on its data sheet. This tells you the maximum distance the miniatures in that unit can move in inches. For example, our termagants can move up to six inches you can choose for your units to remain stationary. However, we're moving our termagants. They want to get into range to shoot at the Space Marine Captain. The shooting phase is where you unleash the deadly ranged weaponry of the far future upon your foes, from explosive bolt of fire to living biological projectiles. Our termagants want to shoot at the Captain, but first, we need to see if he's in range. The data sheet tells us how far we can shoot our flesh borers, up to 18 inches. The captain is only six inches away, so he's in range. Each termagant gets to make one attack with their weapon. We'll roll one dice for each attack, and we need to roll a four or higher in order for our attack to hit its target. We roll 10 dice in total, and we're looking for fours, fives, and sixes. Six successes. Now, we move on to the wound roll. We have to compare the strength of the weapon, which is five, with the toughness of the target, which is also five. When the strength and toughness are the same, we need to roll a four, five, or six to do some damage. We roll to wound for each successful hit. So in this instance, we'll be rolling six dice. Our hits inflict three wounds. However, the Space Marine Captain wears some impressive armor. So he'll get a chance to see if any of our attacks glance off it and are ignored. From the data sheet, we can see the captain has a 2 plus save. He rolls one dice for each wound and completely ignores it on a roll of 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. He's failed a save. Even his mighty Terminator armor can't save him every time. That means he takes a wound. Fortunately for him, he has six of them. So, he's hurt, but he still has five wounds remaining. The charge phase is when your units rush headlong at the enemy, eager to tear them apart in brutal close combat. We're going to charge the captain with our termagants. To be successful, we need to get at least one termagant within an inch of the target. Now, roll two dice to see how far you can charge. This is often abbreviated as 2d6. If you roll high enough, the charge is successful. We know the captain is six inches away, so we need to roll a combined total of at least five. If your roll doesn't meet or exceed the required distance in inches, your unit stays where it is. We've rolled high enough, so the charge is successful. We move our unit so it's in base-to-base -base contact with the target. In the fight phase, your units have the opportunity to butcher the foe in ferocious close combat using a variety of deadly melee weapons, from powered blades to claws, teeth and talons. In the charge phase, our termagants made it into melee range of the captain. Will their numbers be enough to overcome the mighty space marine? The termagants datasheet shows how many attacks each creature gets with their claws and teeth. So, they each get one attack 
That's a total of 10 attacks from this 10 model unit. As we're shooting, the datasheet also tells us what we need to roll in order to hit our target. In this case, that's four plus, so we need to roll a four, five, or six. These are our hits, but can we cause any wounds? We compare the strength of the weapon, which we find on the Termagant's datasheet, three, to the toughness of the target, which we find on the Terminator Captain's datasheet, five. Since the strength is less than the toughness, we need to roll a five or a six to wound the target. As with shooting, the captain gets to roll a dice to see if his armor can deflect the wounds. This means rolling a two, three, four, five, or a six, according to his save characteristic. Even the furious assault of the void-born hyper-evolved Tyranids couldn't pierce the captain's hulking plate armor. And now, he gets to fight back. With his mighty relic weapon, the captain gets six attacks. And he hits on two plus. He's looking for twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes on these dice. His weapon is strength five, and a termagant is toughness three. Since the weapon's strength is greater than the target's toughness, he needs to roll a three, four, five, or six to wound. The termagants usually have a saving throw of five plus. However, the termagant's chitinous hide is no match for the captain's armor-piercing power sword. As such, they don't get a saving throw for the wounds inflicted by the Space Marine's flurry of blows, and four of the chittering swarm are slaughtered outright. Armor piercing and other weapon properties are explained in more detail in the core rules, along with other more advanced rules for the fight phase. At the end of the turn, the Space Marine's captain has taken one wound and has viciously slain four termagants in response. Next, it's the Space Marine's player's turn. The captain doesn't want to move, and he can't use his shooting attack as he's too close to the enemy. So we can head straight to the cut and thrust of close quarters combat. With neither unit willing to fall back, the two sides take turns fighting until one unit is slain. The player with models remaining is the victor. Make sure to read through the core rules to learn more about the game, including how to use epic stratagems to enhance your units, rules for special arcane weaponry with which to annihilate your foes, the effects of battle shock on your units, and more. There's never been a better time to get into Warhammer 40,000, and you're now ready to journey into the far future and join in the battle for the fate of the galaxy.